Nathan Oakley is parroting Quantum Eraser and therefore, by definition, he is wrong. Look at this fragment of a video of his where he claims to have proven that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius at sea level. Hypothesis. If heat, independent variable, then water boils, dependent variable, at 100 degrees C at sea level. No. If heat, independent variable, then water does not boil, dependent variable, at 100 degrees C. Of course, he does no such thing. He didn't show he was at sea level. The only thing he has proven is that, when you put the kettle on, after some time the water starts boiling. That's not science, that's just using a simple household appliance. But even if he did the necessary measurements, he still wouldn't have proven scientifically that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius when you apply heat to it. I have made a video before about this, but as could be expected from flurfers, they recycle their nonsense time and time again. This is what he does. He makes heat the independent variable and water boiling at 100 degrees Celsius the dependent variable. He doesn't say that explicitly, but he implies it by adding the 100 degrees Celsius at sea level every time he mentions his hypothesis. Oakley should know that, according to the certified genius Anthony Delia Riley, in order to prove something scientifically, you have to be able to wiggle the independent variable. And that there should be a direct causation between the wiggling of the independent variable and the dependent variable. If you change the IV, the DV should change also. That's the first thing where Oakley's hypothesis fails. When you vary the amount of heat, you will be either have a null result, apply heat and the water won't boil at 100 degrees Celsius at sea level, because you have applied too little heat, like when you try to boil a kettle of water with a lighter. Or the water will boil at 100 degrees Celsius at sea level no matter how much heat you apply. The only causation you will see then is the more heat, the quicker the water boils, but it will always boil at 100 degrees Celsius at sea level, so heat cannot be the independent variable in this hypothesis. Nathan Oakley, trying to show his formidable insight in science, cannot formulate a proper hypothesis, not even when he is attempting to demonstrate that you cannot have an experiment without a proper hypothesis. But all of this is moot anyway. 100 degrees Celsius is defined as the temperature at which water boils at sea level. You cannot prove something that is defined as that what you are trying to prove. His hypothesis is a begging the question fallacy of monumental proportions. By the way, Geronism Ger is right when he says that science doesn't prove anything. When Oakley says this... But I can definitely say that water boils at 100 degrees at sea level. And it's also a scientifically validated statement, because it can go through the method. If A, as heat, then B, the natural phenomena of water boiling. Now there's also a null in that, which is if heat, that's your presumed cause in this yet to be validated hypothesis, then water does not boil. So you stick your kettle on the stove, you apply heat, and if it doesn't boil, you can prove that heat doesn't cause water to boil 100 degrees C at sea level. I mean, you can validate it if it didn't cause it. However, if you apply heat, that would be your independent variable in this supposition of cause, in this scientific prediction, known as a hypothesis, you will cause it to boil at 100 degrees C at sea level. That's a proven, scientifically verifiable fact. 
he introduces a false dichotomy. You can prove something to be false, the null hypothesis. You cannot prove something to be true. You can never be sure if there could be found another cause for the phenomenon you have studied. You can only show the most probable cause of the, at the moment of your experiment. The more experiments show the same causation, the higher the probability that your hypothesis is right, but you can never be absolutely sure. The whole scientific progress is based on the search for better explanations, or even trying to debunk existing explanations that are accepted at the moment. I'll end with this lamenting of Oakley about Jaronism saying that anyone claiming that science can prove things is a scammer. Yeah, uh, while you scam. laugh, this is the bit that has basically got me absolutely furious to the point where I'm effing and blinding him on Skype because this is an absolute outrage. What Jaron, who is supposed to be one of our own, has done here is called me out as a scammer. Now, I'm not going to be in the slightest bit of shame to blow my own trumpet here, but I've dedicated the last seven years of my life full time to this subject to disseminate truth to an audience in the exact same arena as Jaron. And what Jaron has done with that statement is quite literally threatened the livelihood of me and my family. That's what he's done. Now, frankly, at this point, I, I'd prefer Jaron just got hit by a bus because he's dead to me at this point. He shows that he is at least a liar. And when a liar is begging for money, we can call him a scammer.